Hello, we're here playing the Foundry with the Grail Ice, and our opponent is Andromeda. This hand, I've only got one ice, but I think good things could happen. At least we'll have a next bronze that ends the run on our HQ, and if he checks it, well, we'll get another one. Okay, Galahad's decent. Pretty pleased to have this coming out at the start. Probably won't run either of those, which will give us some wiggle room to play this blue level and hopefully do some more things. Yep, just laundries the archives. Pretty typical Andromeda start. Oh, and security testing. All that good stuff. Okay, so we didn't find any more ice. We need something for archives, but Mm. Yeah, I'll just put the Galahad down. If he tries it out, we'll at least get our third Galahad. So our ice suite is three next silver, three next bronze. Um, I think I'll let him in here. Don't want him to siphon me. Just put Corridor down and siphon. Gets lucky, pulls out Vitruvius. That's too bad. This I don't mind resing. So let's get another Galahad. Now have all three Galahads out. Yeah, so we have three Galahad, three Lancelot, three Next Silver, three Next Bronze, and three Elis. So all kinds of good ice. Gonna end the run. Book. First time playing with these automations, we'll see if I can not mess them up. Ah, uh, here's Corroder. That's too bad. On the bright side, because we didn't resist, we didn't get siphoned just now. Uh, let's see, do I target this and then I hit the reveal? Yeah, that's cool. So now it's got two subs and he has to pay two bucks to get through. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. The thing about playing with Galahad is there's not really the space in your hand to keep these ice. Another next silver, okay. I don't really want to stack barriers here. But I need something so I can res one of these. Depending if he's playing Parasite, these will either be amazing or not very good. Oh, he's playing Parasite. That's pretty common these days. So that guy is now quite dead. Let's just replace him. Uh, I've got these Reclamation Orders. Not entirely sure if I even need these in the deck. Uh, let's just pull another card. Okay. Play this Galahad in case... no. Well, it doesn't do much anyway. Just gonna put this Sansa out here. Does have some security tests. This isn't really a great play. But it will distract him from everywhere else. Oh Jesus, bank job. Okay, this guy's got like an anti-near-earth hub deck. So we need to not play like near Earth Hub. That's pretty big for him. Um, well, could score this Vitruvius, but that's not that great. 
on account of the part where he has Croder and a lot of money. Hmm. Yeah, I'll play this out. So nothing is good for reclaiming yet. I was kind of hoping he'd kill the sand sand, maybe kill another sand sand and we can pull them back. But we're probably gonna get siphon spammed pretty soon. So I'm kind of thinking I just cycle through some cards here, get rid of these agendas, and try to not lose. Where do I want this Eli? Maybe nowhere? I could draw again and then I could throw away f all three of these and one more. No. Remote play, R&D. You know what, let's try to get, get aggressive. Yeah, figured that was gonna happen. Can't really be helped. Could have put a third ice, I guess, but I don't really want three ice on my HQ that much. So we're not running any tag punishment. There's not in faction, really, and spending six influence on Grails means you're not doing much anywhere else. So he's paid one to break that, and now he'll pay two to break this one. Yeah, I think we've lost this game already, but let's just play and see what happens. So I could have res the sand sand there, and then he could have just come and kill it immediately. Not sure if that would have been better. Hmm. Drawing quite a lot of ice here. Well, the next bronze is kind of good. It's just that we're really too poor to effectively play it. He's got 18 credits. We really can't keep these agendas in our hand. Okay, so Lancelot's come out, which if we still had any rezzed Galahads would have been quite nice. Uh, so this could be a Galahad that says, has two subs on it. Yeah, I don't think I can do much about it this turn. Need to find some more economy. Whenever you play the Foundry, you just always wish you were playing somebody else. So we'll do our thing, Vitruvius, beta test, and APD go away, and that's fine. He'll just continue mauling us. And now he'll come kill everything we have. I would like another Eli though. Yep. So if these were almost anything else, we would have been better off. Um, I think one's maybe okay for the whole recurring sand sand thing. But, oh, it's kind of fun. Let's put that down. So Lancelot, Eli, and next silver or reclamation order. Yeah, I don't like having two of these especially much. If we had happened to draw all of our blue levels or something, that would have been okay. We can reclaim for green level clearance, but meh. 
Okay, let's get in our next bronze, which we have still in our deck, so that's good. If we can get enough next ice to keep the next bronze out of Yogg range, it's pretty decent. He is going to break it with Crypsis. Okay. I uh, won't res that one. R&D is stacked. Now we've put back three agendas, and we've also uh, pulled a lot of ice out of the deck. He's going to play another Parasite. It's pretty good for him. Uh, this Gila... I feel like he'll just come after it, but maybe he won't. And if we at least get that, it would help our economy significantly. Uh, yeah. But he can siphon us again, which sucks a lot. Deja vu for two parasites. <laughs> yeah. This is going to go very poorly. I think Parasite is probably the most overpowered runner card. Um, yeah, this is still not very good. Well, I guess we can reclaim our our next ice. <laughs> uh, this sucks. It's not really what I wanted to reclaim, but I'm just so bad for money right now. All right, so a list of things we don't need is this Lancelot. Probably, well, it could do a little bit of work. I think our necks are just going to all die, but having five is okay. Just going to pitch these and hope he doesn't go there. It's Ash. Yeah, don't need him either. We're never going to have more money than him, because he's going to siphon us whenever he feels like it. Probably gonna run again and steal them, maybe? I don't know. Oh, he is. Nice. Probably got suspicious. So, as to why we lost this game, I think letting him bank job there is pretty big. But just in general, uh, the Parasite Recursion. He's not that far into his deck, so he's done very well to find both Parasites and Deja Vu. Um, really not finding much. Don't know. That would at least make him use this Crypsis, but I don't think it's that great. I think we just toast. Uh, he can siphon us now, we can't do anything. Uh, yeah, there's no more next bronzes. I don't know. Reclamation orders. If I got them later, it would have been better. As it was, they were just really dead cards. The time where I really needed to have non dead cards. What 
wasn't much that could be done with the parasite thing. I almost prefer interns, I think, to the other one. But can we get some money? We can get some money. We can get siphoned. So reclamation orders might come out. Um, we have 15 ice. It's a little bit light in the sense that we don't have any bigger ice that we can actually put on HQ as like a money sink. Maybe a bunker down in our centrals for a few more turns and tried to keep him from getting blown up a parasite quite so much. Mm. I think on I mean the root problem is our deck is just not very good. He can do whatever he wants at this stage. So this one's trying to use the operation economy. The idea being you're, you're not getting your money from installing anyway, so you might as well play operations. But it does thin your deck out pretty dangerously low. Um, yeah, we don't have any more Galahads, because they all did. And I'm not also convinced that these work at all in the Foundry. They work better in, in CI where you can actually keep them in your hand for a long time. But we're so full of stuff here where we're supposed to we're drawing extra cards. Would love some kind of hand size increase here. The core set has a research station, but it's just awful, which is a shame. There's no other, oh, that would have been extra buck for him. Neither of these does much. The deck seems to want to rush a remote early on, but you can't really do that against Andromeda because she's just too good. And there he goes. GG. Thanks for watching.